so we're back at the Corsa once again. So thanks for everybody chiming in. So I've got a few tests that people mentioned to try out. So it's another day. The car has not been started. So what I'm going to tell you here is, so you can see there that I've cleared all the codes. So everything's good before we start this car. But what was when I was mucking about with last time, last night, you cleared the codes, yet then when every time you cranked it, it produced new codes in different modules. So I'll just let you see what it done. So going to data manager, this is what I saved. So we'll go to the first one. I think you've seen this one. So you see we've got codes there. So these were all CAN bus communication, blah, blah, ABS and EPS, right? So that I think we've seen that one before. So we then cleared these codes, cranked it again. I mean, the thing was actually starting and it was still creating codes. So we then were left with two codes in each module. So in the anti-theft, you were getting rear window heater, low voltage circuit open, front left fog. And you can see that's repeated in all the other modules as well, right? This is bizarre. So went back again, and then the third day, I cleared the codes last night, and then I went back in again, then it produced these codes. So this was... The, a U code from the engine control module. Ignore that one, I had created that one. So CAN bus, no, uh, no communication, then invalid data from ECM, vehicle speed sensor and the power steering, no engine RPM, no communication with the CAN bus high speed, CAN bus malfunction, anti-theft, BCM CAN bus malfunction. There you go, CAN bus, CAN bus. Come. So every time you clear it and then every time you give it a U crank, it just generates new codes, but they're all U2100, they're all U codes. So, what I thought we'd do here, we'll go back in, I'll go back into my data here, and you can see here, we've got the CAN bus, oh, we did have the CAN bus going, uh, let me see. Both networks are still going, and how come I've not got a, a yellow trace going here? The hangs hard for yellow trace. Well, this is bizarre. I had a yellow trace now, and it seems to be <laughs> seems to be got all inverted. Oh, there we go. It's back. It's back. It's back. I must have hit the wrong button. So we're going to crank this over, and let's watch if any other codes are generated. So key off. The bus is dead. So we'll put key on. The bus is up and running. Glow plug lights out. Let's see. Starts first kick. Right. So it's a bit stuttery, but it's still going. So that's good. So we'll go back in and we'll escape out of this and we'll rescan. Yes. Go into there. So this is scanning. So actually. Let's see if any codes are, so no fault. See that one, the ABS ESP, it stalls on that one for a long time. And see actually, see when you go to clear the codes, oh it's painful. Well, <laughs> last night it was generating codes and it was still starting, but today, uh, it's not generating any codes. Oh man, there you go, nothing back in it, so what we'll do again, we'll stop it. And we'll start it again. So key off. Engine on, crank. There you go, she's no starting. Key off, engine on. No, she's no starting. So let's scan it again. I don't think that can bus disappeared. So escape from that. Yes. So Joe for V4 
be for the walk so ask me to by putting the comments that I was to go to check out Fusey 17 to 20 so you can see that I'm in 17 and 18 I'm at two two of these Fusey so I'll start to do 19 and 20 but oh the weather here's terrible boys anyway so I'll crank it over and let you see the voltage coming out to 17 and 18 so that fuse 17 and 18 ignition on crank over so it's want to start but see this they're, they're still holding good day two fuses key on crank 10 that looks not too bad I'm going to do the other two the ones that came back this time so that fuel metering a solenoid valve I think that's because I pulled the fuse out just to put my my new connections in so I think we could ignore that one but the rest that came back was invalid data from the ECM that's present in the ABS vehicle speed no engine RPM and that's in the electronic power steering uh, anti-theft has can bus no communication with SDM the BCM has no communication with SDM <laughs> oh dear this is bizarre uh, central door lock has no communicate SDM exterior light SDM oh dear dear and, that, and then that one the IPC uh, invalid data from BCM can bus SDM can bus with it oh so there we go that's another rake of codes for us so let's go back in let's quickly erase and you'll see this is anything but a quick erase because it takes ages that wasn't too bad right now so there you go i've pinned out the four fuses and you can see that there uh, 17 18 19 and 20 and that's the four of them there 17, 18, 19 and 20, so I'll go and crank it, it's no starting at the moment, so we'll let you see it on the scope. So there you go, there's my four traces. You see they're all reading 12 volts and above. So we'll key off. Oh, look how they come down. Very slowly indeed. Hmm. Alright, key on, crank it over. So we're still holding 10 volts on the four fuses. I think I'll still lose that. Key off, key on. Let's see, uh, let's see, let you see it cranking over. Mm. Now we've usually got plenty of pressure there. And we've got an RPM signal, you can see that in the dash, but we'll get that in the scan tool anyway, so you can hear it cranking over, it's like a lackey diesel. But why does it start first thing in the morning? Then it, I better just to walk away and leave it for half an hour, then it'll start. Mm. so that was my fourth attempt to start the thing so you can see the ones that come back this time ah there's nothing in the engine so so if it's anti-theft it's coming up this b uh, 0283 b0283 rear window heater low voltage front left fog circuit low voltage the BCM's got the same codes, Central Locking's got the same codes. There you go. This is bizarre. It generates different codes when it wants to. So they're all relating back to the B module, so that would be the body control module. They must be present in the body control. Uh, Mm, man 
Now, here, here, look, there's what I got here, the new. The air light bag, the air bag light is flashing. Uh, what else is flashing? Mm. With the ABS lights on. I wonder if there's water in that SDM module. Uh, let me see, I'll, I'll crank it over. Look at that. Key out, key back in. Oh! Have I got an airbag issue? Oh, let's see. Uh, key out. Uh, still flashing, let's go into the scan tool. I'll switch to the other scan tool now, see if it comes up in this. Let's see if we can go into the engine. Codes. Uh, there we go. And can't no communication with the body control invalid from the ABS. And an undocumented code. Turn stop communicado. Let's go into the airbag. The change the key forty seven. Got any communication with the SDM? Over here. Uh, it's got no comms with IPC and no communication with the body control. Let's see if we can clear the codes. Oh, that stopped flashing. So we work at the codes. I'm present. Let's go back into my scope multimeter. I was trying to see injection pulse. Volts DC. <coughs> so, going to this one, that'll be 100 volts. And then this one will be, put that to 1 volt, or 1 volt AC coupled. So, let's see if we get an injection pulse. Trigger, trace one auto at 20 volts, that would be good enough. So, X out of that. So, we'll stop that. Scan out. You can see there. This one here. Injection pulse is not happening very often, <laughs> uh, but it is happening at TDC. So, mm. so run that again. The trigger on up slope. again irregular injection pulses when it's doing that you can see there when it pulses and maybe it was alien try again
I think I had the, the scope set at the sample rate was wrong, so that was good. And we still ain't firing. Bring that along to there. So it's one, so it fires fires that one, misses that one, fires that one, misses that one, fires that one. So it's like it's firing every second one to get going. So let's bring in the cursors. Five, send there between five milliseconds. I think you can see that's getting to 40 volts. Oh man, bizarre. Right, we'll leave it half an hour and a bit, we come out and it starts. So there's the computer out of it. So you can see there the, I could hold this up somewhere. Uh, there's the pins. They look pretty good, nice and clean. There's the area it came out. It's the Joe was asking if the holes were blocked, but it seems to be okay. There is dampness down there you would expect, but I think the drain holes are quite clear at the side there, Joe. So you can see that this has been in for a, a repair, and I spoke to the guy and I gave him his symptoms, and he said he's never came across that is part of what he's worked with so there's the unit there there's the back end there and it's raining again cheers